I mean, how big of a problem right. is it right. for the GOP that this is the, this is the field of candidates they're running in this cycle? It, it, you know, I've said it before. They have a lot of stupid people. I'm not you're not supposed to say that, but it's it's obvious fact. And, you know, when stupid people vote, you know who they nominate? Other stupid people. What is the great lie? Now, I mean, obviously, a lot of people have made a lot about the January 6th, the election was stolen, that lie. That's that's obviously its own lie there. But I, I want to make sure we understand the great MAGA lie. Because you would think if you are a rational person with a freaking brain that works at all, you would be saying to yourself, Kamala Harris is going to win by 30 points. This country is going to overwhelmingly reject these, these bottom of the barrel, numbskull, atrocious candidates. And yet, as bad as candidates are, whether it's Trump himself or Robinson in North Carolina or Royce White here in Minnesota, as bad as these candidates are, this is going to be a much closer race than you think it's going to be. And you have to understand why. Why is it that that is the case? Why is it that it is this is going to be closer than we want it to be? And what it comes down to is what I like to call the great lie of MAGA. They know their candidates are horrible. They make up a story to justify their dancing with the devil. But the Democrats are so much worse. They have no evidence of such an outrageous lie, but it becomes a basically known fact in their minds. That is who these people are. That is who these people are and their entire modus operandi. The great lie, it, it goes back to that story I've shared a few times about the guy, the pork farmer from Iowa that I, I saw in 2019 after Trump destroyed the pork markets. And he's like, yeah, this is really bad, but but I, I have faith this is going to go well. I mean, you you have to look at somebody who knows the reason why your markets are gone, the reason why you're not doing well, the reason why you're not selling pork, the reason why you're having troubles is Donald Trump himself. And it takes a special kind of fool to look and say, yeah, yeah, but I still have faith he's going to do it. He's going to be right. This has a lot to do with narrative validation. The people that are voting for Trump, for Republicans today, they don't watch the news. They don't. And, and, and it's this, this, this idea, well, they watch Fox News. No, Fox News is a wildly biased news network. If you even want to call them news, it's an opinion network. Fox News, they not only do not report negative stories on Republicans, they overhype negative stories about Democrats. They have an agenda. It's a narrative. There is a far cry from Fox News and the BBC. The BBC does news. Fox News is opinion validation. Newsmax, opinion validation, OAN, opinion validation, all these online trolls and right-wing podcasts, it's opinion validation. And there is no news to it whatsoever. There was a video I just saw this week, this weekend, where this guy was at a rally, I think it was in Pennsylvania, and he said, well, you know, my number one issue is immigrants. It's like, oh, does, how is this hurting you? It doesn't. And he said, well, I just don't want them getting free stuff at my expense. And I said, okay, where did he get that little nugget? Of course, he got that nugget from right-wing people, racists, basically, describing themselves as the truth of America. You're stupid. No, you're stupid. And he buys a hook, line, and sinker because they're not there to push the news. They're there to push a narrative they know people want to hear. Republicans don't want to hear about the negativity about their own candidates, so they, they immerse themselves completely in this. But even they know Donald Trump was on Jeffrey Epstein's child sex plane to his child sex island with underage kids multiple times. That's a known fact. Down deep inside, these guys know this. Robinson, the Nazi transgender pornography loving candidate for Republican candidate for governor of uh, North Carolina. They know exactly who he is. Royce White, the, the misogynist, anti-Semitic, anti-LGBTQ candidate in Minnesota for Senate. They know exactly who he is. But what they do is they create this mythos, this fake reality that, well, 
you know, sure, my candidate's a zombie, but you know that Democrat, he's a nuclear zombie. That's right. Uh, if he eats babies, he explodes. I mean, it really is, I mean, no other option. I, I'm not happy necessarily with voting for the zombie, but clearly I'd rather have the zombie than the nuclear zombie who's eating babies. <laughs> and you think that that's a joke. It's not. That is what these people do in their minds. They create this fantastical world of villainy that doesn't make any damn sense whatsoever, has no basis in reality, is no is not legitimate in any capacity at all. And they run with it. It's it's the, the, the pizza place out in Maryland where the guy shows up and he sees, here's the deal. Here, this is, that, that was the, when the guy showed up at the pizza place, firing rounds into their ceiling, demanding to be taken into the basement where the babies were being killed and their, their mysterious chemical composition was being absorbed by Democrats and liberal Hollywood. And they said, there's no basement to this building. And, oh, all of a sudden, these people that did narrative validation who would put eight, nine, ten posts a day about the babies getting killed in the pizza place, all of a sudden quickly erased all of them and said, I, I have no idea. I have no idea where they got this idea. I, you know, I said I, it, it's an interesting story, but I never told them it said it was real. They couldn't back away from it enough. If God forbid somebody goes into Springfield, Ohio, and starts shooting up a Haitian church or a Haitian community center, all these people are going to frantically be deleting all their posts, these narrative validation posts they have been gladly putting out there and saying, you know, I was just saying, isn't somebody going to stop? The Haitians from eating your beloved pet. I have no idea where these people got the idea that violence needed to happen. That is who they are. They're broken people that basically create a false reality to validate their vote. Now return to Carl Sagan's Cosmos, edited for Rednecks. I'm Carl Sagan. Just how old is our planet? Scientists believe it's four hundreds and hundreds of years old. And after the election, they'll change. Instead of the nuclear zombie eating children, it becomes a well, you know, somebody should have told me about the the Nazi transgender porn love and stuff. Nobody was saying anything about that. If I would have only known about that, I wouldn't have voted for them. They knew this is the lie. And you know, it's it's funny because. The mainstream media, the actual supposed media, desperate to get a little taste of these right-wingers so that they can get ad sales or just because they have an agenda that is driven to the right, they themselves change the news themselves. Uh, let's go with the 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 polls that, that came on out. For, for weeks, we've had pro-Harris polls, and the national news media has said nothing. As a matter of fact, most of the polls basically say Harris is leading nationally six points or so. And in pretty much most toss-up states, she's got at least a one or two point lead in many of them more than that. Nothing. National media, there's no agenda here. There's no, there's no, you know, pushing this fair that this narrative. We're not going to do that, even though this is over and over again. One New York Times poll comes on out showing that Trump is leading in Arizona and Georgia and North Carolina. And Trump is dominating Kamala Harris. Everyone runs with it. Trump up by five points, and Trump is dominating. Biden up by five points. He needs to withdraw from the race because he's losing. Harris up by five points. She barely leads. The race is razor thin. It's a nail biter. Why do you think the news does this? At best, at best, it's just distorting the narrative to give a far-right agenda, you know, labeling to it in an attempt to appeal to right-wingers who only want narrative validation. That's why when Harris is up there like, well, I don't know why you can call a six-point lead a big deal. I mean, that's barely leading. Trump is up by five. Oh, my God, it's, he's going, it's a landslide. It's the great lie. They do not want reality. They do not want to, to change this this belief that somehow what they're doing is noble 
when reality is, is they know they're eating the crap sandwich and they keep asking for more.